Hey everybody, Michelle is here. And I wanted to share, you know, when I uh, got out of uh, my toxic work environment um, and decided that, you know, that I needed to seriously recover. I mean, it, I mean, it's like, it was like an, it's like an addiction and probably worse to be in a working um, toxic environment. So, um, and so what, what happens also when you are working in a toxic environment like that, you get yourself programmed, you know, you get yourself, um, almost, um, like a walking zombie, actually, you know, you're under a trance because, because of it being a first responder job, I still had to raise my level to, I had to be at such a high level to avoid anyone being hurt on my behalf or being hurt on my watch. And what do I mean? I mean, that means that I didn't want no one to be injured as a result of my negligence or my irresponsibility or anything like that. Okay. Now, uh, so that meant that I had to be hyper, hyper vigilant all the time. You know, to make sure kids were safe, make sure animals were safe, make sure. And the main people that were so uh, irresponsible and required so much um, vigilance over were adults, believe it or not. You know, not paying attention, looking down on their phone, got headphones in, and, you know, they're stepping out in traffic. And, you know, it, ay, yeah, yeah. And then on top of that, they have the type of management that we had as well. But I won't go into that. I think I've said enough about the management uh, and how they uh, contribute most of this uh, toxic, toxic environments. You know, it's not the it's not the uh, employees per se. And, you know, it's the type of management uh, you know that existed when I was there, and hopefully it has changed because it's going on. I don't know over a year, I guess, since I retired from first responder. So, but. So, so, um, being in that environment, like I said, you get programmed, you do, you do, you get programmed because you still have to respond and, 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 and let someone get hurt on my, you know, from, from my negligence and stuff. I can be sued to the hills and, you know, it's not, not like I'm, you know, sitting on a bunch of cash either, you know, because even though the employer said that they may represent me, if I did something that was against policy or if I was negligent or blah, 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 then I'm on my own. You see how that works? You know, they put all that stress on you. They put all that toxic, uh, toxicity on you. Uh, and then you oh, make a mistake. Okay. You're on your own, you know, and then they put in these policies that also support them, not the employee, uh, the policies and procedures support the organization. It doesn't matter what they tell you. They're lying to you. Otherwise they're protecting their bottom line. So, so as an employee, you, you, I had to, I mean, not to mention that I'm already at a high level. I had to, I really had to, I really had to shoot it up to the, to the galaxy, you know, because like I said, people are so negligent and these are adults I'm talking with their driving, whether they're on a bicycle, whether they're on skateboards, you know, it's, I mean, the ignorance of how they disregard traffic, you know, why would you ride your bike in certain areas of the highway? You know, it was just those kind of things that people just weren't thinking. And they put a lot of pressure on first responders and it's still, I'm sure it still does. Um, I, you know, I don't talk, when I talk to my, um, former, um, uh, uh, co-workers, I try to stay off of the subject of, uh, our, our job, you know, our former job, even though we'll, We'll, you know, we'll go into it because it was, it was a toxic environment. And I hope the, I hope the others have taken, taken that in a, to account and have recovered themselves and not just try to rush into something else real quick. I did not. I did it purposely uh, because I knew that I didn't want to be bringing all of that into another environment. It just would have been the same thing over and over again. So my point is, um, during my recovery, I just kind of let myself go. I didn't care too much about my appearance. I didn't care much about, you know, whether I showered or not. I'm just being honest. I'm si I'm single. So I just had to let everything go, you know, and find out what is really important. 
you know, you know, like I said, really, I mean, I, you know, I showered whenever I wanted to, you know, you know, uh, I, did I brush my teeth every day? Probably not. You know, did I eat proper, properly every day? Probably not. You know, did do I, do I get my hair cut and styled? Definitely, <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> That's why I wear these, um, wear all these hats, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm not sure how I want it, how, if I want it to grow and, 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 um, and, uh, you know, I'm not sure how I want to style it. I'm still debating on that. But yeah, I let myself go. I didn't, I didn't, I, 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 um, I didn't, um, uh, set the alarm. I turned all the alarms off. I, I, um, I purposely did everything I can to deprogram myself from that environment. Cause you, like I said, you are a program. You know, because you programmed to get up and go. And like I said, I was just always hyper vigilant. I mean, you know, hypersensitive. And being and being on a higher high high functioning level already. Can you imagine ha adding, you know, being um so you know it, it was just it was just kind of crazy. So like I said, I let my looks go, I didn't care. Um and um but then slowly I'm starting, you know, I still need a makeover, honey trust <laughs> but I'm but my point is is that um it's like I had to shed all of that programming off of me you know it's, it, it's in it's and it was in my routine it was in my scheduling it was, it was in my eating you know how I took care of myself all of that became a program that I had to deprogram myself from to see and, and dis discover where okay now do I want to still you know, operate on this type of level? Do I want to still be, you know, doing this and doing that, you know, because da, 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 da. So it took a lot, you know, because, um, you know, there was sometimes I'm telling you, I was working 20 hours a day and then barely getting an hour, you know, and by the time I get home, you know, I'm falling into bed and then I have to get up in a few hours, get up and shop. I mean, I don't know how, I, I don't know how I survived it. I really don't. And I did that for almost, I, at least, you know, working like that for at least two to five years. So, so I'm lucky. Or am I lucky? I don't know. You know, I think because of my strong consciousness is how I was able to get through all of that. And that's why it's so, so important that people, you know, develop a conscious, you know, understand the value of your consciousness. Okay. It's not about your physical strength. It's about the physical strength of your consciousness and how you need to evolve it and that's the whole purpose of everything i'm doing is to help people to evolve their to evolve their consciousness so that you can handle things so like i said i let myself go completely you know and i didn't care how i looked really because i wouldn't like i said i was single and i still am well not no i'm not single i got somebody in mind and you know i won't be single for long how about that and i'm putting that out there okay but um so yes, it was it was rough. It was rough. It was rough, and um, um, I just like you know. So once I deprogrammed myself, and that took time too, then I was able to realize what was important. And you know, taking care of yourself, hygiene, and all that stuff. Yes, that's extremely important. Uh, but I had to let all that go for a minute, so I can deprogram myself and just wash that stuff naturally away from me and out of my system, so that I can properly uh handle myself because yeah it, it, it i mean it was it was pretty bad um and um and i think the people who were dealing with that dealing with this with me um probably don't know the impact of it yet you know because uh, i don't know if any of them were into meditation as i were as i was i have been and um and a lot of them kind of rushed back into something else you know so and I, and I almost did that, but I decided I didn't want to do that. Thankfully, thankfully, because it would have been just the same pattern over and over and over and over. You understand? So I just want to share that. Uh, um, yeah, it, it, you know, it's so, it, it is so required, so required that you, you have a strong psyche. And a lot of people, psyche used to be the soul. 
but the psyche is a little bit, you know, it's a little bit more in depth than that. And I'll explain that at some time, you know, uh, once I, we establish certain things. Um, but the main thing is the evolving of the consciousness and what is that and all what that means and this and that and the other. I've said it a lot in all these videos, but you know, uh, at some point I'll explain that as well and how, how crucial it is that we, that we understand that we need to come out of believing, come out, out of, come out of believing stuff and going into knowing stuff. And that's the most important thing. Coming out of believing and going into knowing. And we have to do that. You know, that's that's almost, uh, if, if not done, you're just adding to, uh, you know, potentially um, setting yourself up for just major destruction, major chaos, and not being prepared for, you know, the, for, for the events of, of this planet. And so all that'll be, you know, talked about at some later point too as well. So I just want to say that, that, yeah, I know I look rough sometimes and I, I, I didn't care. I mean, not that I didn't care, but I felt like it was irrelevant, you know, you know, you know, cause you gotta be creative and do things differently and not just all, uh, keep things at status quo and worrying about how you look all the time worrying about what people are going to say about how you look and this and that. Yes. You want to be presentable. You don't want to be offending people <laughs> and, um, you know, be, being, making things be so distracting about your appearance. And I hope that I, well, I don't, I don't think I did that, you know, but I could, I could tell on some time, some days, look, I would just crawl my ass out of bed and get the phone in my hand and start talking, you know, and then let it be. And, you know, most cases I'd say, I would say 90, let's say 95, it's probably higher. 95% of the time I record it once. Let's say 98. Unless there was a problem with the phone, 98% of the time I recorded once and I flowed once. And so, you know, in other words, I got it out and then put it out and whatever, whatever happens, happens. So... I just want to share that, that we, you know, let's not be so, so concerned about how we look, you know, just try to be as natural as possible. You know what I put on my face? Well, I'm not going to say, I'm not trying to be endorsing people, but you know, just try to be as natural as possible. Um, and, uh, not put so much effort on, on your looks and all, and all worrying about lighting and stuff. I know that's all important, but a lot of that shit is just a bunch of, you know, just wasteful because, you know, some people, if they got some on their face. They got to re-record the whole motherfucking thing. If you realize you got something on your face or in your eyes, my eyes, my always picking in my eyes, you know, because, um, my eyes, are, my eyes can be a little sensitive sometimes, but, um, you know, something might be on my face and you think I'm going to re-record -re something because of that, yeah, please. <laughs> so we just got to be really, really, um, conscious of what we're doing and how much, how much we waste a lot of stuff waste time on just, you know, our, how are we going to look, you know, when, you know, when it's all irrelevant at, at some point, if you, if the message doesn't get across, right. So anyway, I thought I'd share that and let you know. Yeah. I mean, I, I wear these knit caps for a reason, honey, because it's, it's rough up there. It's rough up in here, <laughs> but I'm still tr uh, attempting to decide how I want to, how I want to style it. You know, and get myself, um, you know, get myself looking good, you know, because, I mean, that is important to, to, it's, it's about how you present yourself. And someone else said that. See, I'm, and so many of us are so, are so much of a like-mindedness that we sometimes are repeating the same things. And that's good because, like I said, sometimes you got to keep repeating stuff seven times. And, and I think sometimes more than that, but at least seven times. You have to keep bringing up certain topics of conversation and repeat it, repeat it, right? Because that's the only way that people that for some reason, that's the only way we on this planet learn as we do it at least seven times. So keep that in mind as well. And, um, you know, I'll discuss other things later. So, and I do want to say, send love to the teachers of the planet. You know, you know who you are, you know, that you really go out of your way to help humanity. And yeah, you want to get paid, you know, at the same time as well, but you're not doing it necessarily because you want to get paid. You want to help. Right. And I hope that's the whole, I hope that's the whole idea 
with all of you. And, and I, and I know it is because, uh, you know, I can remember how you taught me. So you taught me and you're still teaching and that's fantastic and wonderful. And I'm so glad to see it. And so, and this planet does need it because something happened in the middle of the nineties and, um, it's caused something to ha I know what it is. It's the wars. Wars will, will, will sever any development of the consciousness. I keep saying that and I'm going to keep saying it until these wars are over. War will sever any advancement or any evolution of your consciousness. In other words, you'll be wasting your time and you're going to keep being in a deja vu, deja vu, deja vu all the time, all the time. And for the rest of your life and probably for the rest of your evolution, which is millions of years, you better just accept it. You better accept it. And you're going to realize that too, at some point too, as you evolve as well. All right. So that's all I'm going to say for now. I'm going to get back in here and do what I got to do. And I'll probably come back again later. Peace and love, everybody.